More apartment troubles in Jacksonville. This is not the first time tenants are voicing their concerns about their living conditions, and it might not be the last. Tenants tell THV 11's Rebecca Brown they haven't had hot water for weeks, and they're not sure where to turn next. Stressed, you're agitated. You know, you start your day out that way. You don't like, you can't clean yourself before you leave. Something as simple as turning the faucet on to wash your hands with warm running water is no longer the reality for several tenants here in Jacksonville. We have no hot water, so it makes it hard to do your dishes and take daily baths. And then the trash is overflowing. I've been through some pretty traumatic things over here, and I don't ever want to live on the street again. Brenda Fist lives at Wingate Apartments and says she's pleaded for months for better living conditions. It's bad enough that I'm moving, preparing to move. It adds stress to you daily, you know, compounds whatever stress you have. But this is not the first time these apartments have made headlines. Just in March, Jacksonville City officials said they are cracking down on code violations at four rundown apartments, which have been the subject of complaints of broken windows, mold, high crime, and no electricity. You can't make it right. You can't, there's no right in it. And so, as a resident, yeah, I'm appalled. Tommy Russell says because of his current situation, he's been having to find another place to shower. If I pay my rent and I have all bills paid, I should have hot water. They should pay us for our pain and suffering. I mean, because that's a violation of our contract. We did reach out to local management and they did decline to go on camera. But Fisk says she hopes things get better because the residents deserve it. I hope it gets corrected. You know, people need a place to live. They pay the rent and they need a place to live. It needs to be a clean environment. It's what you pay for, you know. In Jacksonville, Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News. The Attorney General's office says their court order was granted and their investigation into the apartments continues.